Greetings my loyal minions and welcome to another episode of Illusion and Delusion aka, Foodie Beauty. In today's episode, I'll be reacting to Chantal's mukbang titled, Pizza Hut Mukbang Pan and Stuffed Crust Pepperoni Feast. So, without further ado let's get into today's riveting content, shall we? Oh, hello you guys. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well th this week and I want to thank you guys for all the continued love and support over the years. I really, really do appreciate it. Anywho, in today's video I'm going to be reacting to Chantel's recent mukbang, Pizza Hut mukbang, pan and stuffed crust pepperoni feast. Now you guys know I don't like to react to mukbangs. I'm not a fan of mukbangs. They gross me out. But I think it's important that, reacted, that I reacted to this one considering it's a rager and what she says in this video really pisses me off um i just got done reacting to her racist video against garlic bread and her god-awful sick beats video of her doubling down on her obesity look i'm gonna say this there's no way this woman is 360 pounds she's more like 460 let's be real but who cares because at the end of the day, it's her body, her choice. If she wants to eat herself to death and smoke herself to death, so be it. We don't control what she does. She only, she's the one that has the control over what she does. She's the one that is putting that food in her mouth. And Sala is allowing it. Because he doesn't give a shit, right? All he cares about is the money that he gets from her and, um... He basically has control over her. He basically locks her up in that... What, what does Yava call it? The fart box? Whatever. Single cell um, house that she lives in. Which is supposed to be this, like this luxury. She's, you know, living in luxury, right? This is her dream. Like, I, you would... I, you, I would never live in a, in a hovel like that. I'm sorry. Like, there are limits. Like... I, <sighs> What is it? Frenchie says, the Motel 6 never looked better. <laughs> and so true. I'd rather stay at a Motel 6 than live in that fart box that Chantal lives in. Let's be real. Um, But, Chantal, you act like you're punishing us with these mukbangs. The only person you're punishing is yourself. You're the one that's going to get all the health problems and and... You're, li you're li living in Kuwait right now and it's going to be hitting the really hot temperatures. You're the only one that's suffering at the moment. We're not. We are all here for the shit show. It is what it is. So without further ado, you guys, let's get to... Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> I love how she has her old intro. In this, in this, oh my god, she's literally has that apple soda in a in a fancy wine glass. And I'm gonna say this: there's nothing wrong with Domino's or Donato's or whatever P Pizza Hut, wherever she got this from. But, um, the only pizza that my family and I get delivered, or you know whatever that it's not from the store, is this mom and pop place that we live near called little italy's there's a lot of little italy's in the in the in our country but this one holds a special place in my heart because um it's one of the best pizza places that i've ever been to and they recently just like really expanded like they 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 moved from their old rush their old restaurant and then got a bigger building whatever and like every time we drive near there no matter what time of the day it's always busy and their, their food is just beautiful. Like, if you are ever in the Columbus area, you know, go to Little Italy's. Like, it is, you're just going to be blown away by how good their pizza is. It really is gourmet. Okay. And then they have this, like, now they have this ice cream place that where they have gourmet ice cream. Absolutely delicious. Like, and if you... I mean... If you know how to, like, 
really if you want to like be but do budget with at that place like it's poss possible like my family and i went there last month and we shared a pizza and um you know the appetizers and we were able to make it affordable so it's just like you know it, it's honestly it wasn't when we ate there last it was not that expensive um but what kind of what makes me laugh about Chantel is that she acts like these, you know, these places that she goes to in Kuwait, like the the Burger King, the the, the Nottos, the McDonald's. They're all these like gourmet restaurants. Like, girl, these are fast food joints, not gourmet. The place that I just described, the Little Italy, is that's a gourmet place. Like I've had like. A single meal like there I think it was like their oh like their chicken alfredo whatever amazing like anything from there is just amazing um there's another gourmet place that I've gone to that is our, our favorite one of our favorite haunts is is the brew dogs okay so that's another place that's that's in Columbus that's pretty good um they have like a brewery a slash hotel slash gourmet restaurant um then there's another columbus haunt that's one of our favorites that's been around forever in columbus is i think it's the mohawk restaurant then there's that ger other that german restaurant um schmitz that's another one then there's um oh god there's one more i can't remember the other one those are my idea of like gourmet restaurants like um so, oh smith smith the one lewinsky's that's like a very high-end like relatively expensive restaurant but amazing food like if you know what to get and whatever and you, you can budget there as well it's not within our budget anymore but when it when it was it was just like we would sometimes go to you know very rarely but go to smith and lewinsky's like so it's just like you know that's my idea of gourmet restaurants but Chantel ma makes like she's making like like what she these fast food joints as if they're like these gourmet food it's not it, it's the same thing you'll get in Canada now I do find it interesting you know if one compares like a you know McDonald's American McDonald's menu to like let's say an English like British menu or a French menu or Kuwait menu. That's an interesting, you know, parallel, whatever. But Chantel hasn't even done that correctly. Like, there is a um, restaurant in Pennsylvania that's like this McDonald's restaurant where they allow, like, where you can get, like, different dishes from, like, other countries with McDonald's. And, um... I would love to go there just to try, like, a McDonald's, you know, certain, like, certain McDonald's items from different countries. I think it'd be very, a very interesting thing to do, you know? Um, but Shunda doesn't even do that right. It's like, she might as well be in Canada. Seriously. Because she's getting the same things she would get when she's in Canada. It's like, why aren't you showing, like, real Kuwait cuisine, you know? And you know why? Because she, she probably can't afford it. Fast food is probably the only thing she can afford. Let's be real. She's she's not making the kind of money that she used to make. Oh, hi, guys. Welcome back to another video. I am super excited to try Pizza Hut here. It looks pretty similar to the Pizza Hut we have in North America. Um, we have half oh, can stuffed uh, stuff crust cheese, pepperoni, some green apple marinda. Oh. Ranch sauce, ketchup, and the spicy peri peri spicy. This looks, I mean, this looks like the same as like a store bought. Like, seriously, it does not look as that appetizing. Like, what is it? I've tried their pizza. It's, what you say, Pizza Hut? Not as good. Like, nothing beats the little Italy's pizza that we have. If you, you'd have to go there to understand. It's like one of those really good mom and pop places, you know, that's been around for like ages and they really know their shit, you know? I bet there's one in every town, like a mom, a mom and pop, like Italian place or whatever. 
It is so good. Like we had the last time we were there, we had we shared a two appetizers with it, the the macaroni and cheese bites and then um their mozzarella. Now it's not a stick. It was like this these mozzarella like round half like triangle things. Oh my god! Like holy crap! And um, but the macaroni and cheese bites like they're oh my god! It, everything about that meal was just like oh my god! <laughs> I can't. I can't like the pe the, the the ice cream like the 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 flavors that they had were just so unique and so it was just night creamy and good like we all had the red velvet the chocolate the red velvet one oh, oh my god let's just suffice to say that's you know we're gonna be frequenting <laughs> that place in the summer because it's not that expensive. And it's really good ice cream. See mayo sauce, a few cheese balls. Let's get into it. Bismillah. <laughs> Sorry if there's jump cuts because, yeah, Salah's very doting and he helps me set up everything and he wants to make sure everything's perfect. So, okay. All right. So doting, he locks you up in a, 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 a one window fucking fart box. While he goes and does God knows what, but he's doting. Who are you trying to kid? You're literally doing mukbangs from your room. You're literally doing feeder content. But now in a hijab in Kuwait because you can't go outside because you're sweat your balls off. Like, oh yeah, we all should envy your life. Like she acts like her life is something to be envied. Chantel, we all pity you. We literally pity you. Who would want this? Who would want this kind of life? Because I sure as hell wouldn't. I don't think anybody would. Anybody would. You live in a in the slums of Kuwait. I'm not dissing Kuwait, whatever, but like it's like it would be another thing if she was living in a really reasonably nice neighborhood and you know was living it up in Kuwait but that's not even that she acted like when she before she went to Kuwait that that's exactly what it was going to be like that she'd be living it up in some nice place in Kuwait this is in the slums of Kuwait where you were literally locked in a fucking fart box now mukbanging and eating yourself to immobility like I can't so all right let's go let's try these cheese balls they don't, don't look good. Either. They kind of look like the mac. Spicy sauce, it's so spicy. They look like the mac and cheese bites, okay? And let me just say that this food is, I mean, if you would just see the kind of, the difference between the pizza at Little Italy's compared to this pizza, you'd be stunned. Like, ours was like this, it, it was like an Alfredo sauce, whatever, with like chicken. Oh, God. It was like this chicken... Uh, um, cordon bleu chicken pizza, whatever. It was really good. Like, I... Well, see, we had, like, a kind of a mixed pizza. My mom had, we had, and dad had one side with, like, mushrooms and, and something else, whatever. And then I just had, like, a, a some, you know, on, like, a pizza, you know, a side with, like, chicken and stuff like that. Like, really good. But it was very light sauce. It was... Not like a heavy, like deep dish, whatever. And oh my god, mm. very it was a thin crust. Yum, no, it does not look good whatsoever. They have like a cheese inside, like a soft cheese, and like a parmesan crust. Mm. Okay, let's try. Ooh, it's spicy. Here's the pizza, it looks like the crust and the ranch. Mm. Imagine being, imagine being in the four sixties and, and eating like this. I I couldn't. You're you girl. You're gonna be bigger than Amberlynn Reed in no time. She's having a she's having a food orgasm. Did you just see that? I look skinny today. <laughs> <laughs> girl, it's the filters. It's the filters. 
This is why I like the Apple phones because they show you what you really look like. Well, the the Android, like the ones that Chantel gets, it's like they they fil they filter the hell. You can make have all these filters to make yourself look unrecognizable. I'd rather know what I look like and show what I look like and you know what I really look like than have a tons of filters on my photos. Like who? I mean, I'm not ashamed of what I look like. Plus. And this happens, like, every time I go to a restaurant where there's alcohol served, like, I always get carded. I thought at this point, you know, in my life, I wouldn't get carded anymore. But I've been told I look like I'm in my mid-20s and I'm in my mid-30s. Like, hell, no, in my early 20s. That's so many people tell me. I look like I'm in my early 20s. I'm like, there's no way. I'm... In my mid thirties, like there's no way, but yeah, people have told me that I look like I'm in my early twenties. I'm just like, bitch, I don't see it, but apparently other people see it. Yeah, I do. But Chantal, at this point, even with the filter, she looks older than she actually is, and that's because of her really poor diet. Nothing wrong with and health. <laughs> Chantel, you don't look skinny. Okay. You look you're you're looking at yourself in the in the in the viewfinder and thinking that, the, that what what you see is actually what you look like because of the filters. But honey, you're not skinny in any shape or form. And I always said the same thing about myself. There's I'm not skinny, and you know, I'm not saying I'm okay with it 100, percent but like I I accept it for what it is and working on changing become a healthier person. But I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm ugly. Because I know I'm not. So. I love how she's drinking that soda in a fucking, in a freaking, um, wine glass. Like, what the hell? I did a parody video, and I think people, I saw some comments that I was making fun of Irish people. Which you were. You were being racist, but go on, sis. So I thought I would tell you a bit about my family history, my ethnicity. Oh, the way she eats is disgusting. When I made that parody video, I was calling someone a leprechaun, like this guy a leprechaun. I, I meant it like he's a small, silly man. Does it matter? I don't. It doesn't. And she said, "I've already have seen some of the clips of this video, and people talk, heard people talk about it." She's like, "Oh, I'm Irish, so that gives me, you know, I, I'm, I, I, I can't be making fun of I, Irish people, even though I'm making fun of Irish people because I'm Irish." So I basically translates to, "I have a free pass because I, to make fun of Irish people because I'm Irish." That's not the way this works, okay? And, and I, and if you watch my video about the you know where i cover the actual video that she's talking about i get into my own heritage and my experience with racism against me for being a german okay from my classmates when i was younger being called little nazi okay because simply because i i, I have german heritage simply because i found out i have fit you know family members you know, distant relatives that were, at the time, became Nazis. Very few people, because a lot, of, like I said, a lot of my family members left Germany when the Nazi party was becoming prominent because they didn't want any part of it. So, yeah, I mean, it is possible to be racist against one, you know, against people of, you know what I mean? It's possible. People say, well, a, a white person can't be racist against another white person. It, you can be racist against another person of your own race. It is possible. I saw it on a talk show. This, this black girl was being racist against other black people because she didn't like her own pe person of her, people of her own race and ethnicity. I thought, oh my God, like... It, 
I couldn't believe it. I'm just like, but it's possible. So if Chantal, you think that, oh, because you're Irish, that you can't be racist against other Irish people, it's a thing. It happens. It does not give you a free pass. I don't care. You're only, you're not, you're doing it because you want to, you're, you're making these low blows because you want to be as nasty as you can, which, like I said, I, I don't get it. You're, this Muslim reaver, you're supposed to be becoming a better person and you're just showing yourself to be someone who is dirt, you know, uh, just despicable. And racist. Like, you have not changed one iota. You are doubling down on your bad behavior and you're doing it in a hijab. So, why don't you just take the hijab and the abaya off, mosey on back to Canada, find a play, you know, a, another villa and just do what you were doing before? Because you might as well, because this whole, I'm a Muslim reaver that's married to a fake husband, shit, d it no longer works. It no longer works. And the other reason why she's not in Canada, because she's running from her debts. She's afraid if she goes back to Canada, she's going to, you know, have to be responsible for the debts that she incurred when she was living over there. But you're not technically a, city, a citizen of Kuwait. Like, you, you're still a citizen of Canada. So, you know, you still have to pay your debts and your dues. But it's just like, I don't... I don't get it. Like, you're, you know, you're supposed to be pious, basic, you know, you're supposed to be, get, you know, becoming a better person. But it wasn't that the whole point of becoming a Muslim was, you know, becoming a better person, getting closer to God. Do you think this is godly behavior? This is a behavior of a, a true Muslim reaver? No. Nothing to do with being Irish. Mm hmm Because real men, in my opinion, don't get involved. No, I, let me retract that. Don't have a whole channel dedicated to making fun of a, a single woman. He's a reaction channel. You're the content. You're the entertainment. So, because of that, you're going to go after his ethnicity. So, being because of um, he, you don't, he's a reaction channel that you don't like, that gives you purchase to be racist against him? Why? Do you think you're, do you think you're doing yourself any good by doing, by being racist? Chantal, you're not doing yourself any favors. You're not winning any argument. You literally, literally... Are making your making your situation worse. So, but in case you are, sorry, my thing keeps slipping. <laughs> in case you think I am making fun of Irish people, can't fit can fucking fit into that anymore. Like the hijab. You notice that she's wearing the same clothes all the time is because she's she's probably sizing out of a lot of the abayas and the hijabs that she has because she's gaining so much weight. I'll let you know. My heritage is Irish. I am half Irish. Okay. Half okay. And why does that matter? Does not matter. You're still being racist. My mom, we have my mom and dad. My mom, her dad is French. Okay. Her mom's side, Irish. I won't say the name, but we even have an Irish side. In Ireland, there's a castle. Bullshit. I don't believe that. I just don't. There's no way that you come from, stem from aristocracy or royalty whatsoever there's no way you're a fucking funkle baby now there is inbreeding in 
Aristotle, well, see, this is the thing. I, I don't believe it, but then at the same time, it's not without, with, without, you know, out of the realms of possibility that maybe there is, you know, this possibility could be true because within like the royal family and a lot of aristocracy, you know, there's, there's inbreeding in, in the, in those kind of families. You know, aristocracy, you know, royal families, because, yeah, they weren't, you know what I mean? Like, there is, technically, there is inbreeding. It's not with, out of the realms of, po you know, possibility. Hell, there's, there's even inbreeding within the current British royal family. When you look at that, when you look at it. So. But I, I, I want... I don't believe this whole, there's a castle in Ireland with my family name. I want proof. And for those who say, well, how about you show us proof of your, you know, you know, the castle and so the town named after your family. I can, I mean, just Google it. You people know my last name. It's G-L-A-D-I-G-A-U. Just Google it. They even have a, a YouTube page. When you... That, that's my family. That's my family name. I mean, I I have no problem saying it. And it was people say I'm doxing myself because my I've already been doxed. So it's like at this point, for those who dox me, like it's it's out there. So, but it's G-L-A-D-I-G-A-U. That's my family name. With our family name. Town in Germany. Or like a village or whatever. I'm I not sure. I heard my last name from. My grandpa. <laughs> on my mom's side. I love ketchup on pizza. Don't judge me. Judge me actually if you want to. But oh, I love it. Don't knock it till you oh try Oh my god. When I went bowling with my stepdad. When I was a kid. He introduced me. Oh my. I could never do that pouring the ketchup on the pizza like that like what the hell that's just beyond fatty behavior that, i've never been i never looked back <laughs> so what do you guys prefer pan or cheese crust I, I like the thin crust to be honest but like i said i can't nothing beats the the the, the little italy's pizza i just i don't know what it is about their pizza but it's just like it just hits and so many ways like it's just so good it is literally gourmet pizza mm. i mean and plus the restaurant now it's so nice and just um i don't know how to describe it it's just really it's a really nice place and you, <laughs> this year alone like when you know football like, you can't go on a day with an Ohio State game. <laughs> There's just no way. <laughs> Let's just say that. Remember, we tried to go there during game a game day, and it was just damn near impossible. The pizza tastes the same as in North America, honestly. <laughs> Those cheese balls. Well, obviously, it's pizza. I mean... We're good. And if you've never had green apple soda... <gasps> mm. I've had something similar to the apple soda, but it was a... It was more of a white apple. It was, I don't know what it was, but, um, it wasn't the, that brand, but, um, you know what I do like from the UK and that I can get over here in Myers, by the way, um, is, uh, Ribena. I don't like that it has a considerable amount of sugar, but, um, the right, the black currant juice. Oh my God. So good. Green so those people in the UK, Ribena, right? It's like a childhood. It's like a institution over there. Apple flavor is my favorite flavor when it comes to things. If that's an option, like apple, yeah, it's good. Same. I, I'm the same. I like apple, apple and grape. That and blue raspberry. <laughs> Green apple Jolly Rancher, the best. Fight me on it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. The green, the the app, the green apple. Like you know those suckers with the caramel on it. The green apple. The suckles, suckers with the caramel. You know, um, when we used to go to football games in my hometown, they have this little candy stand there. 
And I used to be able to get those, whatever. It used to be my favorite thing. Still is. This past Halloween, we were able to get a bag of that. Because usually the, those sell out the fast where I'm at. And uh, we got a bag of those. Okay, and I told mom, can we just keep those for ourselves? Because she knows that I like those. And oh my god. So good. I can't get them right now. But when ho around Halloween time is when I'm able to get those. Oh. I try to get them online, but they're so expensive on Amazon off season. But when Halloween hits, it's not as bad. But um, I was just so happy that I was able to get a bag of those because it's just like my childhood in a nutshell. It's like going to the football game, watching, you know, my, my sisters in the band, but also watching the football. I used to hang out with my friends behind the bleachers. Like, this is like small town kind of like living you know what i mean and just nostalgia yeah i'm pan pizza mm. my grandma even had the signature red hair her whole life as she got older she like i think colored well not every irish person has red hair they're qu what the fuck touched up but she had beautiful red hair up until she only started going gray very late in life. My mom is the same. Like, very late. She still has an, her, like, her uh, uh, considerable amount of her own hair color, but she has gone gray quite a bit, but, like, same. I think it's, like, 60s, 70s. <laughs> Maybe 70s. Um, that's too spicy. I can't even eat that sauce. Uh, My cousins, redheads, gingers, my first cousins on okay. that side. This, none of this, what you're saying, takes away from the fact that you're race, you have been racist against garlic bread. And like I said, I don't like garlic bread. I don't, I don't like what he did to Breezy. But he does, not even he deserves, deserves this. This is just ridiculous. And this is all because he call he's comparing her to Grimmers. The people in the community have be comparing her to Gr the Grimmer's char character from Mc at McDonald's. Like, but it's true. You do look like you're you're resembling more and more Grimmer's Grimmer's energy. Mm. And I like Grimmer's because I think Grimmer's is cute. But you're you're giving Grimmer's a bad name. I'm not here for oh, it. So we are Irish. You know that fam the Family Guy episode where, um. The Lois and Peter, you know, as like role play, sexual role play. She's like, um, she dressed up as Grimmers. The sexy Grimmers. Right. Show us proof of this castle, girl. I would love to see it. <sighs> I cleaned my house. I feel so good. And Howie's happy. He can run around more freely. I don't let my hamster run around when the house is messy. <laughs> obvious, for obvious reasons. What'd you say? My hamster run around. Gingers. My first cousins. Hmm. Or to be second cousins. I cleaned my house. I feel so good. And Howie's happy. He can run around more freely. What else are you gonna... I, I doubt that you clean your place, but... I, I mean... what? You're locked in that damn... It's like a cell. I mean, you must, inmate... Prison inmates have it better than this woman. Like, seriously. I don't let my hamster run around when the house is messy. <laughs> They have more freedom than she does. Like, oh my god. I could never. I want to get, like, a tunnel system around the apartment. I gotta think of making one. But he really loves running around the apartment. Like, he's a good boy. He doesn't, like, you know, disappear. He he did at first, but now he's pretty good. Well, maybe because you have him in a cage that's not necessarily big enough for him is why he disappears. Because he doesn't want to be in that fucking fart box of his own. And maybe he's running away because he doesn't want to deal with the smoke inhalation. And if he does disappear, he comes back. <laughs> There's probably fucking rat shit all over that. You know, what hamster shit all over that place. So. I actually, with my grandmother, 
Oh, my dad's leg was still alive. She unhinges her jaw when she eats. It's disgusting. My aunt was over one day, and she showed me, like, a family tree. Okay. That she had just gotten done. With, like, some genealogical, is that the word? <laughs> Research. We did that. My, my family members did that. But, like, there is a book out there like a genealogical book of ours, but it stopped at my, like my sister, my oldest sister is the last person. We need to update it, whatever, but um, yeah. So I, I, um, I don't know what museum it is, but I remember calling the museum in Washington asking for copies. I would have to literally physically go down there and prove that I'm a family, a, a family member in order to see the family relics of ours. As my dad said, they had to have like special proof because I guess the the, do, the artifacts are very delicate, whatever. So we would have to like set up, a, up an appointment with like the museum curator and stuff like that. It's a whole ass thing. I'm not even joking. And this is all the shit that the Nazis stole. And like we're French, like French from France. And going back, I had some, like, relatives named Napoleon. It was funny. Okay. Not very uncommon at a certain time in France because Napoleon's very, you know, prominent in, in France. I think I also have some French heritage as well. See, the thing is, I have royal, royal heritage on both sides. So it's just, like, it's not surprising that I do have some French heritage because, you know... They were they all married into each other. Let's just say that. But the earliest I can recall from what I've been told is like the year five hundred is when I think the earliest documentation of my on my dad's side. I'm not sure about my mom's side, but um, it's pretty neat. You know, it's just the whole Nazi thing is is really off putting. But like I said, my. I love how my grandpa was like, uh, okay, that's it. You know, we're not going to be part of this Nazism. And so we're just like, fuck this shit I'm out. <laughs> that's pretty much what my family did. It's hilarious. And then my grandfather, <laughs> the biggest F you to Hitler is joining the Americans during World War II. <laughs> it's like he was giving the middle finger to Hitler. That's great. Um, and my grand, my great grandfather actually met Hitler. <laughs> it's great the irony. Because I'm sure during a certain time period that was a popular name for French people, you know. Not just the. What are you trying to prove? Oh, be oh, I have a castle, a family castle. I'm better than y'all. Nobody gives a shit. I mean, I think the whole genealogy, I think it's very interesting to find out where you came from and, and stuff like that. It's very interesting, to, you know, but it's just like to use that as a tool to say, guess what? I'm not racist. Guess what? I'm better than y'all because there's a castle named after me, my family. Who cares? Who cares? This is not make you better than, than us. It, your actions is what determines the kind of person that you are. Does she think that in her head? She's like, well, my family has a castle, so I'm better than y'all. You know? <laughs> the king or the emperor or whatever had that name. <laughs> she probably, she's probably going to come up with some lie like, I'm related to Napoleon, you guys. But... So I was eating in the living room. We He helps me set up and uh, gave me half his pizza. We, we shared, like we got two medium pizzas, one pan, one stuffed crust. I wanted to try both. No one cares. So the pepperoni tastes like normal pepperoni. Excuse me. You could have shared that pizza with Sala. You do realize that, right? It's made with, um, I think veal or beef. Very tasty. Anyway. So yeah, like we were, so that's my history. We, there's a, there's a castle 
in Ireland. No one cares. With one of my family names. Um, that, that does not make you a better person John, than us, than Chantal, but she probably thinks so. And, you know, Chantal, if you base your, your, your self-worth on that kind of shit, you really think that you're doing your your family name a service by sitting here on camera acting like a, a fat cow in a hijab looking like grimmers like seriously if that hell you know there's some people that that you know that are like that that think oh because i have royal blood whatever i'm better than y'all like they put so much weight behind that kind of shit it's like does not make you a better person like no one cares at the end of the day like seriously Last names. It's it's not, you know. It's not that doesn't de determine the kind of person that you are. My friends when I was younger said that I was, you know, acting like I was better than them because of my royal blood, whatever. Cause, and I'm like, does, I, I never have given a shit about that crap. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so what? So what? Like, I think it's cool, you know? But at the end of the day, it just is, it, I don't put much weight behind it. It doesn't define who I am. The fact that I have family members that were not, you know, very few members that were Nazis does not determine the person that I am. It's like, um, I remember watching this documentary and it was about Hitler or whatever. Cause I, my dad and I are very much into like World War II kind of like era documentaries, but there's this one where talking about Hitler's relatives and how like his relatives who are still living didn't want to like, get married and have kids i think some of them have but like because they didn't want to continue the line because they're connected to hitler you know i can't imagine being related to him whatever but i'm just saying you know um your rel you know your ancestors don't determine the kind of person that you are your heritage doesn't determine the kind of person that you are you can be proud of your heritage yeah i'm all about that but like oh well, unless you're in you know nazi heritage i wouldn't be proud of that but like um that doesn't determine the who you are as a person you know your actions do um but yeah i i will say 100 percent i am not proud that there are nazis in my fan like in my distant like past whatever you know heritage it has always been it's always when i especially when i was younger i developed a complex and it's always it was like a a bone of contention because just like i was bullied heavily for for something that i had no control over being called little nazi it was oh my god it was bad my sisters never got bullied for it but i'm the only one out of the three of us that got bullied for for that but see they didn't they didn't find out about and i'm surprised but um they had to do the same kind of project so i'm surprised that that didn't come out when they were in school but i don't know maybe because they didn't have computers back then so you know by the time I was doing those those projects, we had computers and we were able to to research. So maybe that's a part of it. But like, it was very um, not a fun time in my life because it was traumatic. Cause I'm just like, oh my god, you know. I have family members that were Nazis. Like, not, you know, it's like, how do you? It's hard to deal with, you know, for anybody maybe who, you know what I mean? Like, it's just hard to deal with, you know, it was hard to deal with as a, as a kid, finding that out. But at that time, I already, we, you know, we, we had talked about in history class about Nazism and stuff like that. And I'd always been told, you know, it's not, you know, 
it, Nazis are bad and stuff like that, you know. I didn't fully understand it, you know, as really, really young, but, like, at the point in time, but by the time we got to, like, the first time I, I worked on, like, a genealogical project, it was, like, I knew what they were about. I didn't like them, and just to find out that I was in any way associated with that is just, oh, it just, it still get, cr makes me cringe. But I, I, I've now, you know, I know now that just because they were fan members that I'd never met, you know, distant relatives that I never met at a point in time were Nazis, does not determine the kind of person that I am. So, I cannot discriminate against Irish people. I'm Irish in my blood. It does not matter. It does, it does not. Oh my God, she's so stupid. It doesn't matter if you have Irish heritage. You are being racist against others who are. And I didn't mean leprechaun as in you're Irish. Haha. <laughs> I meant it as in you're, you're a small you fucking kidding me? You had a picture of a leprechaun next to his picture. You're, use, you're using racist ideologies. I can't. I can't with this. You, you're, you're really going to back backpedal and be, and, and be like, oh, I wasn't being racist, you guys, just because I used a leprechaun picture it has still has racist connotations, racist imagery. Like, are you? F and it was intended to be racist against this man, even though we don't. I don't like this man. It was still, you know. That's just down. That's dirty. That's dirty, disgusting behavior that you embark that you took part in, Chantel. Own it. Eat the poo poos, girl. Like seriously, you can't backpedal this. It's out there. It's on your YouTube channel. Silly, pathetic excuse for a man. You're a silly, pathetic excuse of a Muslim as a woman, mm. as a human being. Who, ha, who, like, who are you to ca to, to, to throw stones? Like, seriously, you're sitting here with God knows how many fucking filters on, just covering up your 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 obesity, sitting here chowing down on a freaking pizza and and a and a wine glass of soda, like. Chantel, who are you to throw stones? Like, seriously. <laughs> I know that's mean, but... Because he called... He compared you to Grimmers? You do look like Grimmers, girl. My god, you know how much weight you've gained? I'm not... This is me not body shaming. Okay. Let's be real, but if one were to compare her to a character at McDonald's, she'd resemble Grimmers. And Grimmers is cute, okay? But Chantel as Grimmers is not cute. But you're just mad because... I guess whatever he said got to her, I don't know. But I, I just do know that... Um, people have been... Com ever since the McDonald's and McBong, and, you know, the, the, the full body shots of her... You know, people have been comparing her to that iconic, like, McDonald's character. And I'm here for it. Why are you acting like that's a glass of, like, wine? It's soda. It was just a joke response to them comparing me to Gr Grimace from McDonald's. Grimace, whatever. Which, honestly, I find funny. Oh, yeah, really. If this is all a joke response. A racist joke response, you guys. No, this is you being bothered by the fact that somebody calls you fucking fat, whatever. A man calls you fat and you wanted to get back at him. There's nothing you can say to me about my weight or my appearance that will make me feel bad about myself. Maybe you had a crush. People... Maybe you had like some sort of crush on on garlic bread, whatever. I don't know, but um, this is what you, Chantal. What you said is wrong. What you did was wrong. I have the power to do. Let that be a lesson. 
You don't place your self worth and what other people think about you. Which is true. You shouldn't. Okay, let's be real. But you do, Shanta. That's the thing. You do. And that, that video proves it because you were butt hurt. And because you do put your self worth in the hands of of um people's opinions. Like, what are you what are you talking about? God, just watching her eat is making me sick. And nobody knows you better than you. Really? Do you really know thyself, Chantal? Because, because I don't living, think you do. It's like your own body. Living your own experiences, you know? <laughs> mm. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Mm. She's like literally having Honestly? many food orgasms over this food. In my opinion, Pizza Hut, overpriced. That's good. Yeah, it's true. She's not wrong about that. It is a that shit is overpriced these days. We don't even darken the doors because it's like, why would we spend money on this crap pizza? We can go to Little Italy's and have better pizza at the same like lower price. I'm not even kidding. Like we've had we, I was like, we have like a Donato's whatever. Uh, we have a pizza place, you know, like a I think it's a Donato's, and they have a similar pizza and appetizers and it costs more money the same size this it's just same everything costs more money at this donato's than it did at this this um at this place you know this little italy's and the little italy's is so much better plus they ever have wine they have entertainment like it's just a better experience but you can do takeout and delivery too so um which we've done before but um with little italy's but um it's just, it's a better experience now that they have the new restaurant. Um, now I really want to go there. <laughs> I was like, I should tell my mom and dad, I'm like, can we just go to Little Elise tonight? Because, you know, um, I really want to go. I should do a pizza tier list. <laughs> but Domino's is even better. Um, the best pizza I had here is from a Syrian restaurant that makes like fatayo and pizzas i bet you that was probably better i don't know what it is but mom and pop restaurants like there's several that we have around here that we've been to and it just hits so much better than a fast food restaurant and i love the i'm gonna be honest i love the little town that we live in you know it, it reminds me of my hometown it's got the same vibe, whatever, like, 4th of July, like, oh my god, it's so great, like, there's this place that, um, they do the fireworks and everything that we go to, um, we've been to pretty much every year that we've lived here, it's like, it's like this one big 4th of July celebration that we all just come together and just enjoy the fireworks, and there's cookouts and stuff like that, it's, it's great, it's great! I'll have to do a video on that. I know I said it was too spicy, but now I miss the spicy feeling. Oh. Plus, there's plenty of parks where I live, too. Plenty of parks. I love it. I really do. Even, like, the hospital. Like, one of the hospitals that, you know, I, I that I, I prefer to go to whenever I ever have an issue, it's, like in a rural area and it's like really close to this this big park whatever and so there's like a lot of nature but i never forget this one time um we were at myers and it's like right across from this hospital that i'm talking about and so we were there late okay because i went after the hospital and the myers close to where i live is open to like 12 30 like one o'clock in the morning so this is like in the summertime like last summer and uh i had to get some an item whatever for because i had you know i had a uti and stuff like that and i wanted to get some like cranberries i could get that and um 
I'm on my way out, and what do I see across the parking lot? A bobcat. I think it's called bobcat. Whatever. I'm not sure. Some sort of, like, wild cat, okay, that resides in Ohio. And just, and it wasn't aggressive or anything. Just, like, literally just, you know, walking across the parking lot, lounging in the parking lot, whatever. Even got under somebody's car, got on top of somebody's car. It was there the whole time we were there. Because my dad's like, you got to see this. And then when I come out, I see this cat. I'm just like, it's literally sitting in the middle of the parking lot. I'm just like, wow. It wasn't aggressive or anything. Like, amazing. You should have seen how big its paws were. Oh my god. I'm impatient to finish this one, so I want you guys to know. Sorry, I'm talking too much. I just had to share that story because isn't it cool when you see something like that? You know what I mean? Like, it is so cool when you when you see a creature like that in the wild. It just this is why I love spring and summer and nature and stuff like that because it's just so cool just to to go to parks and to experience nature like that. It's just so it's wonderful. Mm. Plus, I, I, I don't live far away from Hawking Hills. Like, oh, that's another place. When I get, when I lose more weight and stuff like that, I want to do like a hike through Hawk, the Hawking Hills because um, it's so beautiful. Seeing that family tree was interesting. I wish I could get a copy of it. it would be so cool. When you go back to Canada, maybe you should. You could probably go online if there's a castle. Like, I, I, I know, like, a lot of the castles in the UK, like, they probably have an online website, you know. Um, I'm not sure. Like, there's some castle, you know, places that, like, they do tours and stuff like that. And they and um, it's a, a way to keep for the upkeep of these places in the UK. I wonder what part of Ireland it's in, though. If this is real. <clears throat> but, like, seriously, if anybody wants to look up mine, it's she, L-A-D-I-G-A-U. Um, like, there's a crest and everything. It's, it's pretty cool. We have a family crest. Mmm, so pillowy and soft hand crust at one point in time my mom we used to make jams okay and we had like um we had a jam label thing we actually put it on the jam label <laughs> i don't know why i love pepperoni we didn't sell it or anything it was just like gifts we'd pass around whatever to family member to you know it's you know family members whatever I think the last time we made jam, it was like the blackberry jam. I want to do that again this year is make blackberry jam. I have plenty of them. I have a big bag of blackberries now. I'm sorry. I'm talking about random shit because this shit is so boring. Oh, I'm just going to eat the cheese and pepperoni because I'm so full. If you're full, just don't eat. Yeah, we got two mediums. You should have just gotten a small. I don't get it. If I was getting a pizza for myself, I'd buy a small. Like, seriously. If it was just for me, I'd get a small. I've done that before. You know? Usually it's a small with maybe an appetizer or whatever, or... I would never get like a medium or a large pizza for myself. Uh uh. I'd get a small or an extra small if I could. Yeah. Hell, I'd rather, at this point, if I was getting just a pizza for myself, I'd rather just do a lean cuisine pizza. The kinds. <laughs> I know those aren't the greatest, but like in a pinch, if you want something to eat and you want to keep it relatively healthy, whatever, you need something quick and easy. I don't know. I, I've actually lost weight doing lean cuisine stuff. I'm not even kidding. I like the pizza sauce from here, though. 
the bread is so much Depending better. Depending on what you get from with Lean Cuisine. Butter on the pan. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, when when the little Italy is they when they serve it, it's on the special pan mm -hmm. thing, and and it does taste a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I am raving about it because it. I mean, it literally is one of the best pizzas I've ever had, hands down, in my life. Like it's always an experience going to that place. Mm. Oh, it smells good too. <laughs> Mm, girl i'm a total bread sniffer hmm. you would shit your you would lose your shit if you went to little italy I'm, I'm telling you right now she'd probably have multiple food orgasms at, being at that place i have a friend who drove me nuts because she would eat the toppings off her pizza first and then the crust to each their own I use a knife and fork when I when I eat pizza. I know it's weird, but like I'm a big knife and fork person. Okay. Hell, I even there was even a point in time when I would do it at if I went to McDonald's, like I was like, can I have a knife and fork, for, you know, for a burger? And they're just like, what? Like, but oh. these days I do eat a burger in the normal way. But like, oh. a lot of the times I like to have a knife and fork with my food. Depending on what the food is, but like, you know what I mean? Like, proper cutlery, eating it the proper way. I just, I was raised that way, okay? Love it. Raised to be a very proper English girl. Okay. Knife and fork, you know, always having a, having, you know, a, a napkin to make sure when stuff drops it. You know what I mean? Like, very proper. No. Nescafe time. <laughs> What's Nescafe? I don't know why I didn't drink that in Canada. I mean, do they even have that in Canada? Does anyone know? I don't even know. Nescafe 3-in-1 sachets. They sachet. It's just powdered co coffee. I mean, it's not that great. <laughs> I'm not sure. But it's so instant, creamy, and delicious. Everything good and, and easy to make, and I love it. After my meal. It's my, my shisha. And then I edit the videos. Like I said, my cleaning is done i got a new vacuum cleaner i'm super happy i need we get i need to get a new vac like seriously i'm i'm sick of the vac that we have like it's heavy it mm. mom it's so light i'm just like really i hate this vacuum i every time i vac i'm just like i hate this vacuum cleaner i love it i love i, I don't know why i used to hate vacuuming like when i lived at the villa because you know what it was the stairs i hate vacuuming the stairs so I didn't vacuum as much as here. This place is smaller, so I love. I get like it's satisfying seeing the vacuum. I'm not gonna lie. We used to live in a place with stairs, and I hate vacuuming stairs myself. It's a pain in the ass. Um, but here it's like we don't have stairs, so it's it's so much easier. Like where I live, I live in. Oh my! I, I can't explain it. It's like it's just so much more peaceful where I live. I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. I used to live in a. I used to live in Hilliard, Ohio. I know I'm. I'm so you're doxing yourself. What are you doing? Okay, well I, that's where I used to live when when we moved into Columbus, and it's so much more busy there. We actually recently visited Hilliard. You know, yesterday actually, and it was just like it reminded me why I'm so grateful that I live where I am in, at now because it's the traffic it's just so busy there everybody wants to live in hilliard because it's like it's the best you know prime place to live and it was good while we lived there i'm not gonna lie i mean it is a nice place to live but, you know the taxes are just higher than hell couldn't afford to live there now but like you get what you pay for pretty much the police oh you know the police force there is great the schools are great um i'm very grateful to have for, for the time I was there, have gone to the Hilliard school sy system, like, you know, but it's like, it's just so much, it's just so many people want to live there. It's just like constantly building condos and shit. And, that, I, and, and you know, and apartments like, oh my God, I lived in a house, a couple of houses there. And then eventually in an apartment and, uh, 
it's convenient. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, we used to live close, like, really close to Myers. Used to go to that Myers all the time. Went there yesterday. It was just, like, nostalgia, you know? But, like, um, I don't miss living there. I'd rather, I prefer living where I'm at now. Because, you know, it's near more parks. There's literally a dog park, like, two minutes away from where I live. It's great. It's, then didn't have that when I was living in Hilliard, surprisingly enough. But there is a part of Hilliard that's, like, out in the country, you know? Like, it's kind of a mixture of, like, suck up all the dirt. <sighs> I don't know why. I, I'm just, like, so literally satisfying. so mouthy right now. Okay, I got happy out of just... vacuuming. <laughs> Anyways! Do I want to say anything else? She's literally going into a food coma. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm so full. What happened to me? I used to order a large pizza and smash the whole thing. Back in the day. You probably just binged on something else. Like... I don't believe this is everything that she got. Is she probably just presenting a certain amount of food? I don't know. I don't know. You probably binged on something else today, Chantal. This is probably not... I mean, I don't even know what meal this is. Is this your dinner? Is this your breakfast? Is this your lunch? Like... <clears throat> I used to order... Yeah, my eating habits have definitely changed, even though I'm still eating pizza. This is an example of a small behavior change that makes a difference, in my opinion. I used to order every pretty... Are you fucking kidding me? You're sitting here saying like, oh, it's, you know, I used to eat so much more. Chantal, you're doing mukbangs again. We've seen you order, when the McDonald's, you had two and a half hash browns and large juices, which is chock full of sugar, carbs and shit. How is, are you, I mean, if you were sitting here doing healthy mukbangs, I mean, I've seen Amber Lynn do healthy, healthier eat with me's and mukbangs in recent years, and I've seen you. You gotta be effing kidding me. Pretty much every night when I was living, uh, before, like, years ago, when I was living with my ex, I used to order a large pizza every, um, pretty much every single night from Pizza Pizza, like a pepperoni, thin crust, whatever, thin crust pizza. It was thin crust, but I still ate the whole thing, a large and then I would stuff the box in the closet. <laughs> and then I would, like, whenever he would get home, I would ask him to go get me junk food at the store. And I would eat, like, a bag of chili, Doritos, a uh, drumstick ice cream, a bunch of beef jerky, and a thing of dip. I don't know how I ate that. I don't. I really don't. It was, like, autopilot. It was just, like, a bunch of food. A ton of food. So. You're probably still doing that now. You're gaining a successive amount of weight in a short period of time. You just, Chantal, you're sitting here acting like, oh, my life was so much, you know, my eating habits were so much more different than they are now. Bitch, you couldn't prove it by me. Like, seriously. This is a big improvement for sure. Anyway, that's a little bit of history lesson for you today. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, I thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I, I don't have much else to say. I gotta go. Well, that's it for today's video. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any other videos created on this platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to support my channel, I do have Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo. Links are in the description below. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit is most appreciated. Well, that's all for now. Toodaloo my loves. Sassy Assassin